Tiffany and welcome back to my channel if you're enjoying my supernatural content please remember to like the videos hit that subscribe button hit the bell icon that's next to it because that alerts you when a new video has been posted I should check out the description below because I put the playlist to all my supernatural in one place so you can find all the videos there and also you can check out my other socials so I put the links there also in the description below and I need you to leave your comments in the comment section. Guys, if you don't leave your comments, how am I supposed to shout you out? And also by doing all these things I've listed, this lets you to know that you're enjoying my content, therefore they'll push it out more. So the shout out for uh, this video goes to new CJ Swift. Thank you so much for taking the time out to comment on my last video. So last episode, um, we had a, I would consider it a meta kind of video, um, episode where, uh, some of the things that was done in the episodes, um, you stated that Jensen or Jared would do on set. So someone pointed out that, um, the Polaroids, um, Jensen used to do that. And it was just, a uh, it was a really fun episode just I guess making fun of themselves you guys said you didn't know if some of the crew men that we saw were actually the set but it was a meta some of the um I think you said the producer the person who was playing the producer was is actually a producer on the, um actual supernatural so it was a meta um episode and I was saying that it feels like it's one of those episodes that is the calm before the storm so they're like, let's get out all the light hearted. And I put that in quotations because some of these um, supernatural ain't really light hearted in terms of overall light heartedness. It has light hearted moments, but we just, you know what I mean. So they, I feel like they're doing all of that to then give you whatever they have in store for you coming to the end. So we're going on to episode 19 of season 2 and it's called Folsom Prison Blues with that being said you know what that means um, let's jump into this um, episode so we're actually in a prison okay The hell happened in this block? Yikes. Oh hell no. Whoa. A ghost let go in a prison. That ain't good. Ten o'clock exactly. Well, a couple seconds. Hey! Hey, Jordan! That guy over there eating his... <laughs> hey! Jordan, hey! You tell me you didn't see that? Hey! Damn! Randall, cool it. Cool it, my ass, man. There's somebody out there. Randall, turn out your light and go to sleep. Lights out, B block. Uh oh. Yeah, you're about to die. Uh, Randall, turn out your light and go to sleep. Shit! You heard the break. Oh my god, no, you actually heard 
it, his arm bro break there. You know, you heard the sound effect. So unnecessary. Three months later. Oh, okay. They didn't go immediately. What are y'all stealing? An axe? Okay. Was this an intentional getting locked up because y'all want to get in prison? To the right. I call this one the blue steel. Yeah. yeah. But who looks better, me or Nick Nolte? Shut up. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, it's about time. I'll have a cheeseburger. You think you're funny? I think I'm adorable. <laughs> it is a pleasure to finally meet you in person, Dean. I'm Special Agent Victor Hendrickson. This is my partner, Special who've been Agent. Looking, who've been looking for you for ages. Hendrickson. Not the... the yeah, we're very same. Live and in person. <laughs> <sighs> nice shot. Reading the charges. Mm, mail fraud, credit card fraud, yeah. grave desecration. Uh. Skip to the good one. Armed robbery, kidnapping, and oh, murder. Three counts of first degree murder. And after Milwaukee, your brother is now a suspect in a murder case himself. Your dad taught you well. The way you cover your tracks, and after Milwaukee, the way you got <laughs> near went nuts trying to find you. Ask him. He near went nuts. Oh. <laughs> and after all of that, you get tripped up on a motion detector. I gotta say, I was disappointed. Surprised. Oh, okay. Dean Winchester? In the flesh. And you are? Mara Daniels, Public Defender's Office. I've been assigned you in your brother's case. And if you don't mind, I would like to meet with my clients privately. They'll keep us in the county jail? That's right. Green River County Detention Center? Yes. And considering... Yes, yeah, so yeah, they, they definitely want to get caught. It's going to grant you bail. Yeah, we figured that. Extradition papers have already been filed from five separate states. Jesus. Missouri and Wisconsin as being the biggest concern for the bank robbery and the murder reps. Well, how long can we stall extradition? A week. So they got a week to figure out that goes to the prison and then plan an escape. I. Alright, let's go. Don't worry, Sam. Promise I won't trade you for smokes. <laughs> yeah. I call top bunk. <laughs> oh shit. Oh big boy. <laughs> that was so bad. My roommate doesn't say much as yours. She keeps staring at me in a way that makes me really uneasy. Uh oh. Don't drop the soap. This is without a doubt the dumbest and craziest thing you've ever done. And that's in a long story career of dumb and crazy. Calm down. It's all part of the plan. Okay. So Hendrickson showing up was part of the plan. Mm. Yeah, it got moves a little faster than I thought. Look, all we gotta do is find this ghost, mm -hmm. get the sucker down, and grab ourselves a couple of those teardrop tattoos. It's not funny. That all right? This place has all the signs of a haunting. Yeah, but you don't have your tools. Yeah, you from Texas all of a sudden? Uh oh. Just because these people are in jail doesn't mean they deserve to die. If we don't stop this thing, oh, D. Well, Sam did have a lawyer background, so that's what you say like that. Just be straight with me, all right? You're doing this for Deacon. Damn right. We barely even know the guy. We know he was in the court with Dad. We know he saved Dad's life. We know we owe him. Yeah, all right, but don't you think he's asking a little much? Doesn't matter. We pay our debts. Now that means something to me and it'll do to you. Okay. Look, I'm not thrilled about this either, man. But Deacon has to stop this thing down. That's exactly what we're gonna do. Yeah. It was chicken in that bag. Of course you would. Finish mine. Spirit suspect number one is Mark Moody, right? Yeah, psycho killer extraordinaire. Satanism, ritual murder, died in jail. You sure it's him? Pretty sure. Damn it. Considering our circumstances, I'm gonna need a little bit better than pretty sure. I know, right? It could be really anybody. Sure. Moody died of a heart attack, which is exactly what all the victims here are dying of. No. Oh. He died in the old cell block, which they closed right after he croaked about 30 years ago. They just opened that back up. That's when the killing started. Ah. So released somehow? Mm -hmm. 
But what if he was already cremated? I'm guessing there's something in the old block that belongs to him that's keeping him around. Whatever it is, we gotta find it and uh, you know the rest. How? You can't... Walk around jail freely. <coughs> oh, shit. Sorry, I... That's where you're going. Sure, I just... He said he was sorry. Mm. Oh, Lord. Well, to be fair, you gotta assert your dominance. Are you talking to me? I'm afraid another guy who's seen Taxi Driver one too many times. Yeah, I'm talking to you. He go and then he gonna swing. Come on. So you'll tell you gotta talk to these guys. No. Mr. Respect. No. No. You're gonna get your ass whooped. You're gonna get your ass whooped. Oh, great. We can end this right now. No harm, no foul. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh! <laughs> Go for the nut! Always! Always! On your feet, Lucas. Where I know you from, boy? Yes, sir, boss. Where I know you from, good sir? What's your name? Winchester. Well, Winchester. Not a good start. Y'all too old to be doing this, I tell y'all. Wish I had a baseball. What? What'd you say? I said I wish I had a baseball. Yeah? Well, I wish I had a bat. The bat you're headed. Bat yeah. your freaking head in. All right. Solitary don't have beds? You know what? Me never want to go to jail. Ah, oh, here we go with the bullshit. So, I'm trying to figure out oh, who the targets are. Like, what do they all have in common? Last time, wasn't it 10 o'clock? The man just told you to stay very okay. You know why? If you die, you die. Stupidity to kill people. Whoosh! What the hell? Henderson. It's on your mind. I've been going through the Winchester charges. And I gotta say, there are some weird inconsistencies. Welcome to my world. Cop in Baltimore who swears up and down these boys saved her life. Your bank robbery in Milwaukee, she swears Sam and Dean saved her life. Saved her from what? She was a little unclear on that. All I know is wherever these guys go, people die. It's that simple. Oh, maybe they maybe show they up where people die. How about that road? road? seem cut and dry guilty to me. I think there's more to this. Put my finger on it. Yeah, you gotta believe in it. It's just. You know, to put your finger on it. Strange. Grown ups are trying to get some work done here, son. Yeah? You don't mind. If I were a man, would you say grown up here trying to get. You know what? I don't like people. I gotta ask him, which one do you have? Mama or daddy issues? I'm 54 years old, mopping the floor of a crapper with bars on the windows. How you think I'm doing? <laughs> oh, there. I'm Sam. Randall. Nice to meet you. Randall. Hey, weren't you there the night that guard died? Yeah. Why are you inside, kid? Ah, uh, credit card for um credit card fraud, mail fraud, uh attempted murder. Cause I got an idiot for a brother. That too. Oh, well, this place ain't so bad. Compared to the old cell block, this is damn healthy. You spent time in the old block? Oh yeah, I was a regular customer. Didn't they have Mark Moody over there for a while? He was there. Yeah, I was there too the night that lunatic body. It was a heart attack, right? Sure, his heart stopped right after the guard stopped using his head for batting practice. Oh! Next morning, I was in his cell mopping up the blood. What a mess. Wait, so he, he was beaten and, and nobody reported it? Hey, you kept your mouth shut unless you wanted to die from the same heart attack. You know? mm. Call. Cool. Three aces. It's a bad beat. That is a bad beat. But see, I'm full. Three's over aces. <laughs> Did it join this life a little too much for me? You don't smoke, bro. But okay. It's like picking low-hanging fruit. 
Are you kidding me? This is a currency of the realm. Look, I got a good lead on Moody. Yeah, me too. His spirit paid a little visit last night. What? Clock stopped. Flickering lights, cold spot. I mean, he did everything but yell boo. Well, what happened? He walked right by me. Lucas wasn't so lucky. I mean, the way he was screaming. I think I know where we might find his remains. Blood in his old cell. Blood? I thought it was a heart attack. It was. After the guards walked him over. I mean, apparently there was so much blood in there, they had trouble mopping it out. How are we gonna get in? I got a plan. The problem is, is even if we do find something, how are we gonna burn it? We won't have any accelerant. Good thing I'm like James Garner from The Great Escape. Oh, that's where you collect his cigarettes. Hey, fellas! Who's ready to deal? You sure about this? Pretty sure? Yeah, well, considering the circumstances, I'd like a little better than pretty sure. Yeah? Okay. Really pretty sure. Good for you. I'd like mine al dente. <laughs> Perfect. I couldn't help but notice that you are two tons of fun. Just curious, is that like a thyroid problem or is that some deep seated self esteem issue? That's, you know, uh, deep they go get punched. They're not love. <laughs> Enough handles. You go swing. I knew it. Yeah, y'all go low it. Damn. He took that. Oh, he took that too. Oh shit. Dean. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yeah. You waited long enough. Oh damn. Do yourself a favor. Don't talk. Now, how are you going to explain how, why your clothes dirty? Oh, they don't care. Yeah, okay. Oh, Lord. I don't think it's moody, though. It's tiny. Sorry about the things I was saying earlier. I can't really tell you why, but I'd get you angry. Anyway, sorry. It's okay. <laughs> you gonna whoop your ass. Truth is. I oh have shit. Have far. Oh, crap. What is it? What are you calling me to have a heart attack for? So you're telling me it wasn't Moody? Unless he likes going around dressed like a nurse. Poor Tiny, man. Poor giant Tiny. Wait, so this is this is like the ghost of some nurse who worked here or something? I guess we gotta do some quick research then. No oh, well. I mean, maybe you haven't noticed. We're in jail. So you wanna know about some nurse? We'll make it worth your while. <laughs> so this nurse, she would uh she would have white hair. One screwed up eye. Is that ringing a bell? Yeah. Yeah, I remember her. He wants more. Give it to him. Glockner. Nurse Glockner. Nasty old bitch worked in the 70s. You know her? I met her once. Had to get a tetanus shot. She damn near jabbed the needle through the other side of my arm. At least I got out of there alive. What do you mean? There are these stories, you know, I don't know if they were true. Cons love to talk, but we're all liars. What kind of stories? Well, guys that go up to the infirmary with a cold, next thing you know, they're in a body bag. Oh, damn! A whole uh, Angela body. did. Young guys, old guys. Anyway, that was the rumor. Nobody ever proved anything. Whatever happened to Glockner? I don't know. 
I finished my bit and left. Next time I landed back in here, she was gone. Well, in life, she's a vigilante. In death, same thing. Right. But, I mean, how is she tied in with the old cell block? Then if she's going after cops, why kill that one guard? Mm. I did hear in the yard that that guard wasn't exactly squeaky clean, so... Ah. Maybe she's going after anybody that breaks the law, like me. You heard in the yard? Yeah. Your man is so oh, integrated geez. into this oh, jail yeah, life. No, easily, easily. Uh, yeah! No, not really. Okay, All right, well, cool. Listen, either way, we need more info on Buck now. If, if she's buried, if so, where? And we got five hours to get it. No, no, don't give me that look. Don't give me that. We got to see this thing through. Look, we are leaving tonight, no matter what. I'm going to go talk with her lawyer. For what? Her name was Blockner. Okay, she worked here as a nurse in the 70s. Now, I want you to find out everything you can about her, but most importantly, how she died and where she's buried. It's Mara, right? Yeah. I get that you're trying to help me. Okay, I do. But believe me when I say that this is the best way that you can help. Explain that to me. Oh, child, we can't do that. We got time. I'm just going to have to ask you to trust me on this. Why should I? Yeah. Look, if you're as smart a PD as I think you are, then you can tell with just one look whether or not your clients are guilty, okay? Just like that. So I want you to look at me. Really look. And you tell me, am I guilty? Did she go for No. No, not so much. But uh, I don't know, maybe she'll still come around. Well, we can't wait around to find out. We're not going to finish the job. We're no. People die. Don't give me that, all right? This was your stupid plan. And I went along with it, but we're sticking to the plan, Dean. Okay. Screw you. Screw you. What? Screw you. <laughs> all right, hard case. I see the usual methods ain't gonna work with you. Oh, Lord. I wanna handle this alone. Oh, Lord. Oh, you deacon? Deacon, you are beating the holy hell out of me, man. Yeah. Sorry, Dean. Sorry. Is it over? No, it turns out it wasn't Moody. Yeah. Then who? Uh, we think it's some nurse who used to work here, but we'll still shine all the intel we need. Which is why we should stick around until we find it. Oh, hey, guys. You won't have this fight for real, Dean. We gotta go. We gotta go now. Guys. We're leaving, Dean. Otherwise, guys. What? <laughs> Your lawyer left this for you. Yeah, Teddy. <laughs> you wanna maybe open it up after, you know, you're done patting yourself in the back? Oh, yeah. Oh, lot, you still. Dean. Blockner died in the old cell block right after Moody bit it. Seems they had a little inmate uprising. She got caught in the middle. They dragged her to a solitary cell, gave her a severe cerebral edema. Damn! Someone bashed her head in. Yeah. Okay, we'll get rid of this thing. Good, because I want it out of my prison. My daddy raised you right. Oh, we owe you. See you again, huh? Just oh yeah, let's not come back in prison. And we gotta knock you out. Oh, he gonna hit you. What do you want it? Yeah. Um. Uh, make it look real, son. Oh, he was gonna do that from the beginning. Damn. It's my cat, guys. I had a real sight for sore eyes. Almost wish I could see Henderson's face. Really? I'd be happy if I never saw him again. I mean, we're not really out of the woods yet, Dean, you know? <sighs> yeah. I told you. One of them came up behind me. You let them get the drop on you. Yeah. I screwed up, all right? What do you want me to say? I want to know where they're headed. Say it again. <laughs> again, I want to know everything they did today from the minute they woke up. A boy got up my face. Got up. Breakfast. <laughs> told you it was a private conversation between me and my clients right and just three hours later he just happened to bust out what he said what about client privi um privilege do you not understand we gotta move it if Hendrickson gets to the lawyer I thought she couldn't say anything you know that whole lawyer client privilege thing <sighs> the privilege doesn't apply Dean so she'll talk she has to now tell me. Girl have a backbone. He can't do nothing. 
He wanted me to do some research on a prison nurse that died in 1976. What? Why? I don't know. What else? They wanted to know where she was buried. Did you find out where? Yeah. Did you tell them? Tell me. That should be a two man job. Uh oh. See, I, me, I had salt on me twenty four seven. Burn, baby, burn. Y'all yeah, take long. <laughs> that was quick. I wonder if the, the, the lawyer gave them the wrong um, um cemetery. Yep, she did. It was Green Valley Cemetery. Interesting. Yeah, well, you see, this is why you gotta be nice to people. If you had been polite to her, she would have helped you out. Thought we were screwed before. Oh, yeah, worse. Yeah, yeah, I know. We should go to Yemen. Oh, I'm not sure I'm ready to go that deep. Alrighty then. So that was episode uh, 19? Yeah. Yeah, episode 19. So th that was actually a really good episode. I, I enjoyed that. Again, another month of a week, but I enjoyed that, really. Um, yeah, it, it's surprising how easily Dean fit into that type of atmosphere. Yeah, that, that that's a little scary to know that he, he could easily fit in. And how much he actually was enjoying it. So we, ha we saw Henriksen again. So let me tell you something. Yeah. He got what he deserved. Let me tell you something. You people think because they're in certain positions, especially if they're cops, they could talk to people any way they think they can. I'm like, no, you can't. No, you can't. Let me tell you something. If he didn't dismiss her the way he did about saying, oh, the grown-ups have work to do, the condescendingness of all that. She might have told him whether the real where the real cemetery was. She might have. But you want to treat people that way? Well, you're going to get um, the answers that you got. So you went to the wrong cemetery. And I'm guessing that cemetery was way further than Green Valley. So therefore, the boys got away clean. But I got to admit, that plan was kind of stupid. You put your se you were trying to avoid the system and you put yourself in the system's way. It's like... So you're telling me um, you couldn't advise Deacon on what to do? <laughs> like, help him with the investigation since he can walk freely? No? Okay. That, yeah, that, that plan was a little too... A little too close to comfort. But... Yeah, it was a good episode. I, I, I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. So... Um, I think we have three more episodes after this, so it's going to be interesting if the three episodes left is going to go back to the storyline or is it just we got one more extra like months of the week and then the last two episodes uh, goes back to the storyline. But that's going to be interesting to see what happens next. So with that being said, if you enjoy my reaction, please remember to like the video, hit that subscribe button. Leave your comments in the comment section. Guys, remember a like, a comment, a sub, a share of this video goes a long way in expanding this channel. And I thank you guys so much for your support. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.